All right, the gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. On January 20th of 2021, President Biden declared war on American energy when he shut down the Keystone XL pipeline. Today, we begin the process to lower energy costs. This is the first stroke of what I hope are many bills to come forward to get energy costs under control for the American people. Let's go back over the, first, uh, the past couple years of this Congress and what President Biden did. They passed things like the so-called Inflation Reduction Act. They passed a bill called the Infrastructure Bill. What were those bills, really, and some of the others from the last Congress? They were the Green New Deal. And you, the American public, you know, you know now what the Green New Deal will do to you. Let's talk about my district a little bit. Propane, which is a primary heating source for many of us in northern Wisconsin, we paid 80 cents a gallon in the summer of 2020 to fill our tanks. We paid $2 a gallon, two and a half times as much to heat your home just a couple years after the previous administration has left office. Think about the Ford Motor Company, iconic company here in America, lost $2 billion on their electric vehicle uh, segment of their business. I can tell you, contractors, loggers, farmers, they're not gonna drive a Ford Lightning in northern Wisconsin when it's 25 below because it does not work. I think about Vilas County where they were going to apply to repair a road under the uh, infrastructure bill. A million and a half dollars using federal money, talk to a local contractor, without the federal permitting requirements, they could build it for half of that, $750,000. One of the key provisions to this is the reform to NEPA. It does not change environmental standards. It just makes it easier to get projects done. It is time to reduce that red tape here in America on American people, on American job creators. What is this all about at the end of the day? This is about whether you choose America or you choose communist China. Is this going to be a 21st century of the American people, just like the 20th century, one of the greatest centuries the uh, people of this world have ever seen when a country that was founded on liberty, freedom, and opportunity was ascendant. We stood astride the world. Are we going to do that in the 21st century? Bills like this are how we're going to make the 21st century an American century rather than a communist Chinese century. Let's lower energy costs and ensure job security, economic security, and national security for the American people. I yield back. All right, members are reminded.